NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again, in a stunning revelation that has reverberated throughout the scientific realm. Voyager 1, the legendary spacecraft launched by NASA more than four decades ago, has transmitted a signal that has shaken the very foundations of our understanding of the cosmos. After traversing a staggering distance of nearly 14 billion miles from its terrestrial origins, Voyager 1 has unearthed a revelation so profound that it has compelled a significant redirection of its mission objectives. Sixty years ago, the cosmos staged a remarkable spectacle with the alignment of the four largest planets in our solar system. This cosmic event mirrored a configuration not witnessed since the era of Thomas Jefferson's presidency in the early 19th century. Initially overlooked, the significance of this rare planetary alignment was first discerned by Gary Flandro, then a doctoral student in aeronautics at the California Institute of Technology in 1965. When space exploration was in its infancy, juggling his studies with part-time work, Flandro embarked on a series of calculations delving into the gravitational forces exerted by each planet. His findings unveiled an extraordinary opportunity. Utilizing these celestial alignments as gravitational slingshots could dramatically reduce interplanetary travel durations. Flandro's computations projected that the alignment could slash the journey time from Earth to Neptune from a daunting 30 years down to a mere 12. Yet, there was a caveat. This celestial choreography unfolded only once every 176 years. In the early stages of their remarkable odyssey four decades ago, the Voyager probes astounded scientists by presenting the initial close-up glimpses of Jupiter and Saturn's moons. These celestial bodies, once thought to be drab and heavily scarred akin to our own lunar companion, unveiled themselves as vibrant worlds. Voyager 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, a mere 546 days after its launch, with Voyager 2 trailing slightly behind on a similar trajectory, arriving four months later. Europa, among Jupiter's 53 designated moons, revealed a fractured icy surface estimated to span over 60 meters in thickness. As the spacecraft bid farewell to the Jupiter system, they garnered a farewell boost in velocity, a whopping 35,700 meters per second, courtesy of a gravitational slingshot, an indispensable maneuver propelling them towards the vast expanse of interstellar space. As the voyagers reached Saturn, they embarked on divergent paths. Voyager 1 navigated through the grandeur of Saturn's rings, braving countless collisions with minuscule dust particles before encountering Titan, the planet's largest moon. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 charted its own course, uncovering new vistas of Saturn's moons and unraveling the intricate tapestry of its ring system. With Saturn explored, Voyager 2 set its course for Uranus and Neptune, venturing into the uncharted realms of these distant ice giants, marking historic milestones as the first spacecraft to reach these far-flung worlds. Voyager 2's encounter with Neptune in 1989 marked the culmination of an incredible journey through the outer solar system. As it soared about 2,800 miles above Neptune's stunning azure methane sky, it encountered the swiftest winds recorded on any planet in our solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 meters per second. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the coldest spots in our cosmic neighborhood, with surface temperatures plummeting to minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the harsh conditions, Voyager 2 continued to send back valuable data as it ventured into the uncharted territory of interstellar space. As the Voyager spacecraft completed their primary mission of exploring the outer planets, they embarked on an ambitious new phase known as the Voyager Interstellar Mission. This daring endeavor aimed to delve into the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond, illuminating the enigmatic boundary where the Sun's influence yields to the vast expanse of interstellar space. Among the most iconic moments of this mission is the captivating image, famously termed the Pale Blue Dot, snapped by Voyager 1 on Valentine's Day in 1990. This remarkable photograph portrays Earth as a mere speck amidst the cosmic panorama, serving as a poignant reminder of our planet's delicate place in the grand tapestry of the universe. Voyager 1's trailblazing discoveries persisted as it journeyed deeper into the realms of interstellar space, offering invaluable insights into the intricacies of our celestial neighborhood. Despite their astounding accomplishments, the Voyager probes have faced their share of hurdles on their cosmic odyssey. Among the most formidable challenges is the maintenance of communication as they venture deeper into the void. The staggering expanses traverse translate to signal transmissions requiring hours to reach Earth, rendering real-time communication unattainable. NASA tackles this obstacle through the Deep Space Network DSN, a worldwide array of antennas facilitating uninterrupted contact with spacecraft spanning the solar system and beyond. 
In recent years, the Voyager probes have encountered technical hurdles impacting their ability to transmit data back to Earth. For instance, Voyager 1 grappled with issues in its flight data system, halting the flow of new scientific and engineering insights. NASA's dedicated engineers have tirelessly tackled these challenges, yet the complexities of managing spacecraft billions of miles away are formidable. Despite these obstacles, the Voyager probes assist in pushing the frontiers of exploration. They serve as steadfast sentinels, furnishing invaluable data that deepens our comprehension of the outer realms of our solar system and beyond. Venturing ever deeper into interstellar space, they embody the aspirations of countless scientists and space aficionados, igniting our drive to delve further into the cosmos and unravel its enigmatic mysteries.